ladies, I am here today with another topic. I hope you guys are having a really nice day today. I have gotten off early today and I'm um, just enjoying this hot summer day. Uh, we've been experiencing a lot of tropical type weather here in Tennessee lately where it storms half the day and then half the day is pretty. So right now we're in the pretty half of the day. But I'm sitting out on my patio and I had another topic because I've been having um, these conversations with some of my friends and co co-workers and I wanted to extend this out to my family here on YT and it's in regards to if you had to choose what would you choose between love and money and it's been surprising to me uh, the responses and answers that I've been getting from this because I guess sometimes you think that um, as we grow older that people will choose what you feel would be more of the politically correct thing to do. But I have been very surprised by the fact that it's been kind of kind of balanced there that, you know, we I've had friends that have chosen love and friends that have chosen money for whatever reason. Because we all have different desires and goals. So uh, our dreams and aspirations in life can be very, very different. But for me, I think if I had to choose, I think I would choose love. And here's one of the reasons why uh, I can say that because I think I've had the experience of both. I think I've loved and I think I, I won't say that I've been rich, but I have chosen um, money before because um, when you're young, you do things sometimes just because you feel like it's going to get you ahead. And I've been um, privileged and I was that privileged to have been in a relationship with a guy that I felt was very, very well off. And then I married a man that was um, very, very comfortable and um, he made sure that all of my needs, all of my wants and desires were taken care of. But I wouldn't say our relationship was necessarily where it was supposed to be. And as well as the guy that I dated for a while, um, he was a big entrepreneur and he had multiple businesses, about three or four businesses, so uh, I could live the lifestyle of not having to work and to have things, all my things and my needs been taken care of. But at the end of the day, when you get used to having things or get used to um, traveling and you know, you're privy to that lifestyle, at the end of the day, what do you have after that? Because you have to come home to that person, you have to spend quality time, um, intimacy. Um, there's a lot of things that factor into that. So I don't think if it was on a long-term basis that I could choose money because at the end of the day, what's more important to me is having someone there with me, having great companionship, having a beautiful friendship, having uh, intimacy and love, um, somebody that cares deeply about me. And I think that's more important to me, especially as time moves on um, because there are people, as you see very well in, on TV, uh, some of our athletes and celebrities are very, very ha unhappy. Uh, you see them committing um, all types of crimes and even taking their own lives. And you look at them and you'll wonder, why? Because you'll say to yourself, they have everything that money could buy, but money cannot buy love. It can buy fakeness. It can buy uh, people who will um, put on a facade as if they love you, but at the end of the day, it's not real love. And at some point, point in time, who you really are is gonna come out. So I'm gonna open this up to my family here on YIT. Um, what do you think about that? If you had to choose, um, what would you choose? And this video is really just geared toward um, generating some thought because our Lord and Savior, you know, uh, gave us the ability to love. And according to him, that is the supreme, the ultimate thing that you could have in your life. Because when you have love, you can have the abundance of everything. So that's the way I view it. So you may look at it in a different way. But it just it is, it's just, to me, more important to be able to say that I can grow old with someone or to death do us part. Um, at the end of the day, you can have all the money in, in the world, but when you die, you don't take it with you. But when I die, I take my love with me. So, what do you think? Give me some feedback, guys. And I 
hope you enjoy your afternoon as well as I am.